lásky. Hey guys, and welcome to Philips Interactive Media. Today, on this occasion, CDI Week, we are playing Tetris. Yes, Tetris. <laughs> As you can see here right in front of me by the awesome 3D pre-rendered graphics. Now, I find Tetris on the, uh, <laughs> on the Philips CDI extremely funny. I was reading the back of the case, and it says, Tetris, a classic game in the class of its own. Originally conceived by Alexei Parishtinov and designed by Vladimir Garashmov of the former USSR. Tetris is recognized all over the world for its elegant simplicity and challenging gameplay. Yeah. The one thing I also noticed with this version of Tetris, um that we have some sweet, sweet tunes going down, but we also didn't have any um, sound effects. Um, it's really off-putting to play. Yes, I am dropping all my shapes down, and yet there is nothing to play. I have no idea what's going on right now. It's, it's very strange, especially when you first start upon playing it with these awesome tunes. Um, Again, back to the back case of the CDI version, Tetris CDI is the ultimate Tetris experience. Spectacular video game nature scenes and an original CD score by Jim Andron complement the classic Tetris gameplay and elevate the phenomenon to new heights. In CDI, the classic becomes legend. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I actually just find it really off-putting that there's no sound effects to any of the game mechanics. It just... It feels more like a music video, if I'm completely honest. I mean, like, when I clear a, a, a line, there's nothing playing. Look, I just completed a level. Level 1. But nothing's happening. It just makes no sense. <laughs> You'll find, with Tetris CDI, irresistibly addicting as you try to rotate and flip moving pieces to fix into a solid line at the bottom of the playing field. Yeah, that is the, you know, the, the general consensus of um, Tetris, as you can see from my gameplay. It's exactly what I'm doing. It just, I, I can't... <laughs> I mean, like, you're focusing on the, the field of play with Tetris. As you can see, to the left of the screen right now, that's exactly what I'm doing. But for some reason, there's some real-time FNV in the background, and it's more distracting than anything. I don't understand what's going on anymore. <laughs> My life has been a lie. I don't understand. The machines are coming back for us. It's like Terminator all over again. <laughs> Remove ten lines, and you'll move on the next level. But we're on level two, so <laughs> um, discover what game players all over the world have learned. Dot dot dot. This is one addiction you can't live without. Thanks, Phillips. Um, if this was a oh damn it, I mucked up the placement of that shape. But if this was a marketing employee, it didn't work, especially not on me in 2019. Oh, why did I put that there? Uh, never mind. Um, let's clear that bottom layer. Um, so then we have bullet points. Original Tetris gameplay features. Except the sound effects. There are no sound effects. I have this all... Oh, damn it. We have this all rigged up correctly in the game room. There are no sound effects. It's a lie. It's lying to you. Um, so the next bullet point says 10 levels of play. Uh, I doubt we'll even reach that because this game is a bit strange. I have pre-played it and the level spike is extremely weird and the controller I'm using, which is a, like a knockoff 
Sega Mega Drive controller is uh, extremely spongy, so it registers, you know, things that shouldn't really be registered. Um, spectacular motion video nature backgrounds. Nice. Thanks for the um, the backgrounds, which I can't enjoy because I'm playing the game in the field of play, like you said. Level three. Fade to black. <laughs> oh, we're in the desert now. Um, ten original CD soundtracks. <sighs> I'd be happy with just the original, you know, Tetris theme. That'd be great. I'm pretty sure this isn't even like, because obviously Nintendo had a version of Tetris, and I'm pretty sure this is the band version, or the version that was non-distributed, or was in a very low quantity from the original um, the devs. It's actually quite displeasing. <laughs> even playing it, it's very depressing. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Look, look, why did I post that there? Never mind, let's try and clear a strip, I guess. Bonk, cleared. Next level, level four. We're doing great. Um, there, there, oh no, this is going bad, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we can find a way out of this, I could have put that um, on the final episode, oh no, <sighs> my, my, I have a, a massive gripe with the controller for this thing, the controls are very spongy, you can make like a, the tiniest error and accidentally do it. Or at least that's how it feels when I'm playing it. And I have several controllers. I have about five of them. But this one just... <laughs> I'm using the knockoff Sega Mega Drive looking controller. Or I guess you could say it's more a bit... It's in the shape of a NES controller, but upside down. But... Why did I put that there? Um, it's... <sighs> Otherwise, it's either that, or I use a controller that looks like a remote control. Level five. Oh, listen to this, this nice, oh, damn it. This upbeat music. Uh, I think at this point I'm, I'm beginning not to care now. Oh, damn it, damn it. Uh, you know what? I just kind of, I don't care anymore. There we go, end of the game. So we got to level five. <laughs> High scores, there's nobody. Let's put in my name. We're gonna put in E, D, W. Why don't you end? Like I said, um, I think this is the original Russian version, if you can tell by this outro music. A, R, D. But remember, guys, to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for CDI Week. That's exactly what it's going to be. Bye bye! That's the end of the video now. You can fucking tune out.